Hey, here we are with the IBM ThinkPad T42. Not sure of the model number on this, I believe it's 2373. But here we are. If you've recognized that background, maybe this taskbar. This would be Windows 7. Now I believe this is the first video on YouTube of this computer with this with specs similar to this running Windows 7. I have Windows Vista on here too. Um, the specifications, it's the processor is Intel Pentium M740 at 1.7 gigahertz. It is a solo core, obviously. L2, 2 megabyte cache. RAM, I have a half a gig of DDR1 RAM, that's 512 meg. And the processor is a 40 gigabyte um, 5400 or 4200, I'm not totally sure, RPM hardware. So here we are, we're idling Windows 7, I just booted it up, there are no other applications that are open right now that would be taking any RAM other than anything that's Windows. Obviously Arrow is not enabled, there's no transparency, it kind of looks like crap. So let's see how much RAM we're using, out of a half a gig. Well Vista would be sucking, what do you think, out of a half a gig? About half a gig? Yeah. That would be 51%. Now I haven't run any cleaners that cleans out your RAM. I haven't had anything open that takes up a lot of RAM, so Windows thinks it really needs to limit itself. I have no virtual machines open on this that would totally purge it like this. Let's open Task Manager. Here we are, we're using 255 meg of RAM. Okay, what was the last operating system that could use from Windows that could use 250 meg of RAM and actually still be here with full functionality? That would be XP. Yep, Vista could not do it. It would be using about 511 out of 512. I am really impressed with Windows 7 here in the amount of RAM it's using. There we go, 49%. Close this. Still 49. It's 48%. If, you've got, if you guys have got 47%, if you guys have this notebook and you're excited for the release of Windows 7, 46%, do be very excited for the release of Windows 7 because it's going to run re really well on here. The only thing is you're not going to have Arrow, but you are going to have, you know, it, I mean, this looks better than XP, doesn't it? I mean, maybe not this. I mean, you can change the color of that taskbar or the start menu there, but it looks a lot better than and XP. So, again, I didn't run any cleaners. This is totally legitimate. Let's boot Windows Vista on here, just for fun. See how bad that that is. As you can see, this isn't exactly a really new computer. It's not widescreen, but it is moderately thin. I mean, you'd, you'd be surprised. got two USB over here. Well, I, I, have a, I have a review on this notebook. Please check out my channel. You can see the review. So, it's definitely capable of, run, of running Windows 7 when that comes out. Windows Vienna, Windows 7, whatever. Let's boot up Windows Vista here. Now, this is Windows Vista Ultimate 32-bit without Service Pack 1. Yep, it's going to take a while. This is where it gets pathetic. There we go. It's only about five minutes. Sorry about the camera there. Oh, and it's incorrect. That's just great.
Okay. So I don't think I have this sidebar set to open. And let's open that manually. <laughs> and look at the RAM, we're on 65%, 66%. That might go down a little bit once Windows kind of calms down after its first first boot. Let's look in Task Manager, 344 meg. Now that's still surprisingly decent. And it's on 69% now. But that's no 50% or 46% like in Windows 7. Both of these are relatively new installs. They're 70%. I've had this copy of Windows on here for... 73%, 74%, I don't know what it's doing now, it's loading something. But anyways, Windows Vista is not this guy's operating system. As you can see on the relatively light computer, I should be able to lift with one hand, it's going to say it's designed for Windows XP Pro. <laughs> and it does have a shock protection hard drive, so I can throw it around, it's okay. Let's reboot, 73% there, let's reboot into Windows 7 and see what we're dealing with just as we boot or log in there. Now this isn't my primary computer. I have a couple other ones that I use and I do run Windows 7 on it. If you want reviews on that, check out my channel. I've got all kinds of tech stuff there if that's what you like. The boot screen in Windows 7 is actually pretty cool. So starting Windows there and then it says Microsoft Corporation and then you get this animation which is really nice. Quite a bit faster than Windows Vista there. A moment to log in. There we go. I don't think I have the sounds enabled right now. Now it is going to be a little bit higher because we just booted and when I started the video last time I was about 60 seconds and to just have booted. So there's 61 percent. Now in Windows Vista it was like 13, 14, 15 percent more. Yes, okay. Alright, good point. I don't have as many sidebar gadgets open right now as I did in Windows Vista. Okay. Let's open them. I am not connected to the internet in both copies, so that should fail. Yeah, it went up 5%. But I don't attribute all that to the sidebar. Well, those are all trying to suck. That isn't a fair comparison. Those are trying to get internet. Anyways, we're up at 67. It will calm down after it loads a couple things and then kind of cleans itself out. 293 meg of RAM. That is uh, about 50 or 60 less than in Windows Vista. And it's down to 57% now. And I'll tell you, I let this thing sit for about an hour and it was actually on 35% when I came back. The uh, Processor surprisingly capable. It's on 14%. It was just on 5, 33. It's ca this thing is very capable to run Windows 7. So when it comes out, I'd be very excited because it's going to run on here. So thanks for watching. This has been the ThinkPad T42 review with Windows Vista and Microsoft Windows 7. Please check out my channel, rate, comment, subscribe, whatever, and. Uh, just to something kind of funny here because, uh, yeah, the sidebar crashed. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's not really Windows 7. It's Windows 7, yeah. It's this, it's this build that does that. I, I've had it happen. Not the hardware. So thanks again for watching.